guys, my name is Fallen One. I'm bringing you a video for CSGO, and this video is about the P2K and the USPS. Now, I get this question a lot. Which one is better? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you use? Which one, and when do you use it? Now, to answer that question, it doesn't really matter, honestly. It's all about preference. But then there's a side note to the difference between both of these guns is the ammo capacity. Now, say this has 12, the USPS has 12, the P2K has 13, but in total, it has a total of 65. And this has a total of 36. Now, the difference between those is, now with this one, you have a lot less ammo to spam. You need to hit those one shots. But the benefit of the USPS that most people don't realize, even though they've been playing it for a long time, is the fall off distance, the sound of it. You can shoot from this distance, and it'll be hard to realize he's shooting me from here, or really close, or he's shooting me from down there. It's hard to, if you don't have a really good headset, it's hard to tell exactly where. But now with the P2K, for example, if I do this, you know 100% I'm long. doesn't matter if you're on cat, CT, sight. If I shoot one time, you know where I'm at. That sound is loud as hell. It travels. But the thing I like about this, I can spam this. I can spam this, 13 bullets, and it all goes headshot level. 13 bullets, and I can reload it. Now, when to use, when it, use it is the big question. Now, for the USPS, for example, say I'm playing long. If I'm playing what I told you guys in my previous video, the fall off game, when I know he's peeking that corner, I shoot here and I fall off. The USPS is good for that. Because I just love the reset accuracy from the distance it has, and I love the sound it makes. I just love it. It's, it's just, it seems like it's a more optical gun for long distance. Now, if someone's peeking this corner, I can fall off again. And I just I feel like this is a more optical gun for long distance. It's gunfight. Now, at close range, don't get me wrong, this is the most beautiful gun to have. Now say we're right here, then they peek that corner. I feel like the P2K makes his name known immediately the moment you peek those corners. If I want you to know I'm here and I want to kill you ASAP, the P2K is my best friend. I would prefer that over everything on close range maps. Now say we're playing cash, for example. This is my favorite gun on cash because there's so many close angles and you have to peek me. Now on dust, there's a lot of wide angles. So I would always use the USPS every single time on long range angles. Now, usually I play over here. Let me go over here. I play B. Now, when I play B, you guys have may, might have seen this trick before that I do. I do this little trick when I run into B site. As soon as I hit B site, I throw a smoke. It goes inside, smokes the tons, and I stand right here. Now, when they're running through the smoke and they don't see me, and they're out on site, I can do this. And they're like, where are the shots coming from? Where are the shots coming from? They don't know. Dead, dead, dead. Now, if I have the P2K, that's a different story. I shoot once, they know to look over here. They know I'm over here now. So it's all about the situation that you're trying to set up, how you play it, the map, your play style, your preference, your aim, all that takes into account when choosing your starting pistol. Now, other pistols are different. Now, if you want me to make a video on that, just comment below telling me if you want me to make it on the CZ, the 5.7, the Tech 9, the P250. Just tell me below, and I'll make a video on it. As always, guys, hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. As always, guys, this is Fallen. Have a nice and wonderful day.